Welcome everyone to the Cackling Jackal, my name is James, and today we're going to be trying a new game called Northguard. Northguard is a, a, a real-time strategy, um, yeah, real-time strategy Viking game. Uh, similar, sort of, to Age of Empires, but with a bit of a different focus and uh, a little bit a little bit simpler, simpler but uh, there's definitely a lot of depth in the game. Um, there's no doubt about that. It is an early access right now on Steam. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to recommend it, purely because I don't recommend early access games as... Who knows what, you know, what kind of physic... What kind of finished state it'll look like if it ever gets finished. Um, so... Yeah, that being said, I've played two sort of half games of this to sort of get my myself situated in the game. Um, I think I have a better idea of what I'm doing now, but still not exactly a perfect idea of what I'm doing. So, checked in our name, we're going to go green, uh, green purple, purple, let's go purple. Uh, medium map size, three AI players, and a bunch of victory conditions that I do not understand. I think I understand domination, I believe, is killing everyone else. And wisdom might be the researchy law one. I don't know what these ones are. Fame. Fame is a thing that I sort of know. Anyway, let's get into that. First, we need to choose our clan. So, you can see there's a bunch of clans here. Clan of the Wolf, Stag, Goat, Raven, Bear, and Boar. I have... The last two games I sort of started, I played as Bear, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, this game definitely has a seasons uh, thing going on, so it's either, you know, winter or not winter. Um and the bear is better at surviving the winters and actually gets a bear you can summon which is kind of cool but it only defends it doesn't attack enemies which is yeah um but that's pretty cool still uh then i tried goat um goat is interesting sheep are cool because sheep allow you to uh, reduce some of the wood consumption that you have especially during winter um, and it also allows you to build a sheep vault which is basically a little building that allows you to harvest food from sheep um, and you have better feasts I don't even know what feasts are yet I haven't I haven't done one I haven't done one at all um, now f fame bonuses I believe are when you reach certain levels of fame so by doing certain things like you know clearing out a Draugr thing or you know get, clearing out a, a wolf's den you can get fame and I believe it's one way to win I don't understand how you probably just have to get to a certain number but when you get to 200 you're going to get this first um, ability and when you get to 500 you get the second one so I was having a look at Raven Raven sounds interesting but you need money and money is kind of hard to come by in the beginning of the game um, this one you just sort of have, have a better start this also produces fame from the brewery from the Scald, which is the replacement of the brewery. Um, this is killing things, provides meat. Boar, I think, was only recently added to the game. F whatever, we're just going to go boar. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I probably should have read those abilities before clicking play, but... I'm going to live on the wild side. Like a boar. Game's loading. Almost ready. Now, first of all, this game is beautiful, as you can see. Um, it is this gorgeous little cutesy, cartoony, cartoony look to it. So there's a villager. Now, we start off with a town hall. Town halls allow us to make villagers. They also allow us to give birth to new villagers, as long as we have positive happiness. How do we get positive happiness, you might ask? Well, mostly it's going to come through getting a certain amount of territory. Um, each... Uh, as the game goes on, that expected number is going to go up there, right? So, for instance, the game is going to go on a bit more, and then it'll go, hey, now I expect you to have at least two happiness. Um, and we're going to get more happiness by having more territory. While that resulting number, happiness number one, uh, is positive, because we've got two minus one, we're going to produce more babies, also as long as we have enough population. Once this baby is born, we're going to have 5 out of 5. So first thing we need to do is build a new house. This should be very familiar to anyone who's played any sort of real-time strategy game. Have we, got our, have we got our villager yet? Probably not. 
Next thing we're going to need is a scout camp, and the last thing we're going to need is also a woodcutter's lodge. Now, we can build five buildings in our home region, and every region adjacent to that. Well, in every region that we colonize, we can build three. Um, so, how do we get new places, you ask? Well, we're going to have to get some scouts. So, mate, you're going to become a scout, and you are also going to become a scout. This is going to change them from being villagers to being scouts down here. And now what scouts are going to do is they're you automatically know. going to go find the nearest border. Which is this one here, and this one is going to go find this border. And they're going to start scouting it. When that reaches full, we'll be able to see what's in there. It might be wolves, it might be uh, kobolds, it might be farmland. We don't know yet. Now we're also going to need some woodcutters, because to survive we need both food and wood. And we need to try and stockpile as much as we can before winter comes around. You can see we are currently here in the year. Here is when winter starts. Cool, so we've currently explored these two tiles. These uh, scouts are just going to go, go off and find more tiles to explore. You can see in here we have one wolf, and in here we also have one wolf. Now, we could fight them, but at the moment we don't have any warriors, and warriors are pretty important. So, how do we fix that? Well, first things first, we're going to buy a tra build a training camp. Okay, so we've got some more locations opening up. This is nice. This is a forest. That means any um, any woodcutters we put in here are going to uh, cut more wood. And there's a ruin in here. Which means that we will be able to uh, send a scout in here if we decolonize this land. Up here, though, is this a different territory or is this the same territory? No, it's a different one. Okay. But you can see we actually have some, some little kobolds. These guys are kobolds. Uh, camping up here. Awesome. Well, first thing we need to do is we need to start exploring some more things. And here's a rune stone. This is nice. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. And by clicking this colonize button, it cost me a little bit of food. But we're going to basically have this tile become our own. Done. Awesome. While we're at it, let's build another house. And you know what? We're going to have to clear out some... Oh, there are some Draugr in here. So first, first of all, this scout can come back because I want him to explore this ruin. And... I need some warriors. Hurry up, hurry up and get more villagers. We can upgrade grade these later as well. Warrior. Warrior. Okay, these warriors. Let's go. Let's go get rid of these these wolves because we can't colonize somewhere until we get all the enemies out of it. And you can also see there are some tips up here, but at least for now, I have read those tips before and I know what I'm doing. Cool. Wolf is dead, which means we can click the colonize button as soon as we have a little bit more food. And let's go kill this wolf over here. Now our other scout is still looking around, exploring new places. So here's a uh, wolf camp that we can get some fame from. Yeah, let's... Okay, we need more food. We don't have enough food. So, I'm going to get one of our woodcutters to become a villager again. Because villagers will go and get some food. Um, I'm going to send them to go build this house first. And they can collect food from any region that has a house in it. Um, which is what it's doing now. There's more water over here. So this might be the end. This might be a little peninsula type thing. But we can get there up here. We can get up there through here. Scout. We've got two scouts, which we don't need, so this guy is probably going to go back to being a, a, a villager as soon as he's a thing. We need some more fertile land. Uh, did we see fertile land? Maybe we didn't see fertile land. Where can we get food from then? Interesting, I haven't had a start quite like this. Okay, what's in this room? We got money and lore. Awesome. So. First things first, you can come here and become a villager again, we need more food. Although we are start actually starting to stockpile a little bit of food a turn. So, law. You might ask what law is. Well, law is research. So you can see up in the top right corner here, we can actually get a technology of sorts. So we can get sharp axes, that gives us more food. We can get weaponsmith, which produces, which brings our military is, you know, 
20% stronger. Yep, bartering. Now, bartering, I believe, this symbol means it's only available to the Boar Clan. Um, so this was something else um, when you play as another another group. Uh, so this is going to allow us to get three crowns of production. And it enables trade routes with neutral factions. Uh, at the moment, I'm fine for money. I think I'm going to get more wood. Cool. So, done research. What is the, you guys are warriors? Come back here. Well, actually, let's come here. Well, we need we need food first to colonize. Okay. Now, who's this scout? You know, what? I might send the scout home to just collect some food for a while. Because I think we've explored enough for now. We are also going to want a... Not a woodcutter's thing. Oh, whoops. How do I get out of that? There we are. A mender's hut. So, a mender's hut... Where's that scout, actually? I'm going to come and send you over here. You can become a law master. So, you're going to produ produce additional law. You can see right now we are producing... Si four, now we're producing six, I think. Now, healers' huts are going to allow us to have a healer, and they will magically heal people in all in our territory. Like this warrior over here, who's quite hurt. Cool, you healer. Awesome. Now, when can we upgrade this? We need 100 wood and 10 stone. So, stone. Here is a place for us to get to quarry out some stone. There is also a place here. Um, what is in this region, actually? There's also a forest there, which is nice. What's in here? Deer. Let's actually colonize this one. The reason I'm going to colonize this one is because we can then build a... a um, uh, what are you called? A hunter's Lodge? There we are. A Hunter's Lodge in here. And this is going to be an alternate source of food for us. Not an alternate, it's going to be a, um, a complementary source of food for us. First we need to send a, a worker over there. Um, which it's going to go do now. I might also colonize this one at some point, because I'm probably going to need some more wood production than what I currently have. Although, why don't I only have one person doing that? So let's have the second person cut wood. Are you not doing anything? Oh yes, you can see over here. So this this mender, if I click on the mender, it's not actually going to tell me. But you can see. Oh, you stopped you stopped healing. Oh, that's because they're at full health. Cool. Uh, the when their health bar shows, that means they're injured. When there's a little plus next to it, it means they they, they are currently getting healed. So is there just one wolf up here? There's two wolves. Let's kill those two wolves. And then there's three wolves in here which we'll also be able to kill. Cool. So start whacking these wolves. Cool. Let's retreat this guy. Let's start getting healed. So you can see this plus sign means he's getting healed. And this wolf's about to go down. Cool. There's more wolves over there. But these guys can come in here, start getting healed, and get ready for the next fight against these wolves. And we are going to look... Okay, so, one thing I didn't mention is, first of all, the Circle of Stones allows us to rec recruit lore masters, and they get to produce more lore. Um, also, speaking of lore, actually. Colonization. Handiwork. I want upgraded buildings, get plus 10% production. That'll work for me for now. Um, cool. So what we're going to do is, this is a, a it's a Verderfolnir, 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 yes, that's a, that was almost Russian accent, not really Nor Norse, anyway, it actually wasn't even Russian, it was weird James accent, um, so, this 
if we colonize this area, which I will do as soon as I have food, when we have food, um, it is almost the end of winter, so we'll get food back soon. We can colonize this area, and then our healer will actually start healing the Vidrifolnir. When that happens, he'll actually just scout some areas for us, which is which is fun, and he'll also give us a hundred lore. That was loud. An unknown clan, so yellow, has discovered the gates of Helheim, which is over here. If you take control of it, we get victory. I think you might need to get multiple of them, but these are cool. Valkyries, originally champions of the gods. Some Valkyries have been corrupted by powers of Helheim. Okay. I think I might be a little bit way off there. But, while we are talking about combat, let's get some axe throwers. So, let's build this uh, short here. Winter's over. Um, let's get another, another two villages as well. Uh, two villages. There you are. You guys are going to come and become hunters for us. Because I believe that is better than you just searching for food yourself. Um, our clan made it to a new year. Indeed. Awesome. Don't forget some... Uh, oh, victory conditions. So, if you control it for one year, you get to... You win from getting Helheim. Cool. Now, I believe that is unique to this map mode or whatever. Domination is just completely defeating the other three clans. Fame is getting a number of areas and a number of fame and building fame and building the altar of kings cool so you can see we're currently third there um we have 70 fame from something i don't know uh trade i'm there currently so i currently have 257 crowns collected and 127 in stock cool so basically you can just get a bunch of money and a bunch of merchants and sailors to win this one which I guess we're 3% the way there. Uh, and Wisdom is bl four blessings from the gods. So that requires us to... Speaking of blessings from the gods, they're down here. They require us to learn enough languages. Uh, enough lore things. So, Herbalism. Increases population growth speed. Ooh... Weaponsmith might be nice as well. Let's, go, let's actually go bartering. See what happens there. Cool. Uh, let's organize a feast. Oh, okay, that works. Feast costs food. Ooh, an earthquake's coming. We need wood, okay. Um, so this gives plus 2 and 20% bonus to all production and happiness for one month. And plus 20 fame. Interesting. So that's how you get fame. Uh, let's also go grab two more people. And you guys can become axe throwers. And we'll also get someone to build a house. Is there anything else I'm going to want to build over here? Probably not. Where's a random villager? Not you. You, come over here. Okay, do we have our axe throws? Cool. Come join these guys. These guys look pretty cool as well. In fact, they all they all look cool. Look at them. Ah, people are unhappy because we don't have enough territories. Let's fix that then. I believe a brewer's place will also heal people. You go heal up. Same with you. Um, I can colonize this now. That's good. If we colonize this, we can uh, we can get rid of this thing, which will give us some fame, which is nice. We are producing a lot of food right now, which is always nice. And this uh, Vodafolnir, it looks like a griffin. I'm just going to call it a griffin. The griffin. There's also iron in here. I didn't notice that at, all, at first. Uh, when we, so if I move these guys out so that my healers can't heal him, you'll see it's actually healing that guy there. And then we actually have a way into um, hell. 
Okay. So. This might do us for episode one. I have a good feeling about this game. We do need some stone as well. So this is another place we want to colonize. Um, or, or this one here. Um, is that stone? No. And we get the iron there. That'll help us start upgrading things. So we can up upgrade the town hall. We need to make people happy. Um, yeah, we do need to make people happy, don't we? Yep. Ah, before we go, let's let's get some lore. So we can either simple living, construction costs are halved, which is nice. Shipbuilding, I don't even know what a sailor does yet. So, eh. Fur coats, militia, sharp weapons, defensive. Sh um, let's go recruitment. So we're not happy right now, but uh, when we are, we'll produce people quicker. So. For this episode, I've been James, this has been the Cackling Jackal, thank you for coming, and hopefully we will see you next time where we can continue playing Northgard.